Forty years ago, it looked as though apartheid in South Africa was virtually immutable. Anyone who had looked at the situation on the ground in the early 1970s would probably have concluded that, for better or for worse, apartheid is vigorous and dynamic and is going to be around for the foreseeable future. This man changed that. Although there are others who deserve almost equal credit to him, he has become sort of the spokesperson for the negotiation process that actually dismantled apartheid in South Africa. He could not have done that if he had negated the white South Africans. He had to sit down and negotiate with them, and he had to make it worth their while to negotiate with him. First of all, he had to tell them that he understood that they, first of all, exist as a people, and secondly, have legitimate concerns. That does not make Nelson Mandela a racist by saying that there is such a thing as white society, that there is such a thing as a white South African lifestyle, mentality, culture, heritage, history, etc. I would argue that he couldn't have accomplished what he did accomplish had he not taken that first step of recognizing the legitimacy, as it were, of white South Africa. Perhaps not the power structure, but the cultural and historical and national movements, the undercurrents in South African societies, in South African society rather, are real and he understood this. Therefore, the white South Africans and their leadership could sit down and discuss with him. It's not enough to recognize and promote the culture of the underdog in a multicultural context. You've got to promote everyone's culture. It doesn't make a French person a racist for being intensely interested in French history prior to the arrival of immigrants to that country. It doesn't make an American a racist for being interested in the political struggles of the Confederate States of America. It doesn't make a Canadian a racist for being somewhat interested in the history of the settler movement in Canada. It doesn't make you a racist by saying that for all practical purposes, white society in European dominated countries is something that exists. A multicultural society or a properly functioning multicultural society implicitly acknowledges this. There's nothing wrong with being white and anyone who is promoting multiculturalism as a bludgeon against a perceived white oppressive power structure is fundamentally abusing the whole idea of multiculturalism. 